Hey biochemists, did you know that digestion starts in your mouth and not your stomach? We're gonna show how cornstarch can be degraded with amylase from your saliva. So first, we're gonna start with an experiment with cornstarch water and iodine. This is gonna show us how cornstarch is degraded by amylase in your saliva. My helpers Lori and Chelsea are gonna help show how the colors change when amylase is present in the cornstarch. Alpha amylase is the glycoside hydrolase that catalyzes the hydrolysis of the alpha 1,4 glycosidic bonds, turning complex sugar molecules into simple sugar molecules such as maltotriose and maltose. Alpha amylase also recruits bacteria in the mouth and on the tooth surface, which play a vital role in digestion as they aid in the hydrolysis of starches. Alpha amylase is primarily produced in the salivary glands and in the pancreas. Because it is produced by the salivary glands, it is one of the first processes involved in digestion. Alpha amylase is a 496 long amino acid enzyme that includes a chloride and calcium ion. It is a three domain protein with a main catalytic domain consisting of a beta alpha barrel structure that aids in binding of starches. Glutamic acid 261 and aspartic acid 231 form the cleft or the catalytic diet of the active site that cleaves the connection between the sugars in the chain. Even though there's a difference of 15 residues between salivary and pancreatic amylase, they remain similar in function. Alpha amylase catalyzes the hydrolysis of alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkages while retaining the configuration of the starch. To break down the glycosidic linkages, covalent catalysis and general acid catalysis take place. During the breakdown, the proton donor is within range to hydrogen bond with the glycosidic oxygen, and because amylase is a configuration-retaining enzyme, the catalytic base stays in close proximity to the anomeric carbon. To start the process, negatively charged aspartic acid 231 attacks the anomeric carbon of the starch molecule. The oxygen attached to the carbon becomes protonated by glutamic acid, which becomes deprotonated. After the oxygen attached to the R group leaves the active site, a water molecule enters and becomes activated by the deprotonated glutamic acid. The water molecule then hydrolyzes the covalent bond between the anomeric carbon and the aspartic acid. This completes the catalytic cycle and the active site is regenerated. While aspartic acid 328 is present in the active site, it does not play a direct role but is believed to elevate the pKa of the glutamic acid 261 that protonates the oxygen of the glycosidic linkage. into your bread, into those carbs. That white starch has met its match. This amylase straight masterpiece. Silent, wildin', living it up in the parotid. Got ducks going straight to the mouth. Don't kiss me, it's not pretty. We need starch, hot damn. Call an enzyme, need an appetite, man. We need starch, hot damn. Make a potato wanna retire, man. We need starch, hot damn. Like a silly bond, you know who I am. We need starch, hot damn. Amylase is just waiting. Break it down. Teeth chew your hallelujah. Woo. Teeth chew your hallelujah. Woo. Teeth chew your hallelujah. Woo. Cause Alpha Amylase is gonna give it to you. Cause Alpha Amylase is gonna give it to you. Cause Alpha Amylase is gonna give it to you. Salivary glands be in the mouth. Don't believe me, just chew. Don't believe me, just chew. Don't believe me, just you. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Stop. Wait a minute. Fill my mouth, put some liquor in it. 
Take some bread, but wait a sec. Analyze, go digest. From Germany, Hollywood, Ireland, Spin City. If we eat starch, we get maltose out. Smoother than some gold sweet honey. We need starch, hot damn. Call an enzyme, need an exercise, man. We need starch, hot damn. Make a potato want to retire, man. We need starch, hot damn. Like acidic bonds, you know who I am. We need starch, hot damn. Amylase is just waiting. Break it down!